everybody, we are about to go to London and meet some friends in our heads. You are probably thinking that we are insane talking about meeting friends in our heads, but our friends are our imagination. We are going to go to Weasley's Wizarding Museum. We are going into Weasley's Wizarding Museum to see all sorts of stuff that Fred and George Weasley created. We will see all sorts of useful stuff. Although it's fiction, we will use our imagination. It becomes real. So get ready to imagine with us. Pack your bag and get ready to go to London. Sorry, but you have to get your own ticket. Hey, Cadence. Look at those cute pygmy puffs. They're so cute. Yeah, almost as cute as a button. It's so fluffy. I hope we can get one for a pet. Ooh, look at those tongue toffees. A nice prank to play on my enemies. Look at the extendable ears. I'll be able to eavesdrop on what people say from up high. How about the fake wands? Then I can flick the wand and it will turn into something instead having to use a hard spell to make it appear. Ew, look at those things that make you barf. Yuck. Look here. The dung bombs already stink and they were even set off. Ew, I would rather eat a tongue toffee. Well, we're not going to smell it anyways. Well, if I smell it set off, I am sure I will faint. Come on, let's go get a nice souvenir for us so you'll remember this place. I want a pygmy puff. I want to name her Daisy. I will get one too. It looks too cute. I will name mine Cheryl. Cadence, Isabel, wake up! Sorry. Have you girls decided what to write your story on yet? How will we use our imagination to go to places that don't exist? And we can base it on something that we read, like Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. We can tell people how reading is special because it builds our imagination. When we read, we can go to places like Reese's Wizarding Wheezes without having to go to London. Yeah, then maybe we won't fall asleep in class. Yeah, it would be awesome if we could get to imagine more stuff in class so it would, be not, would not be as dull. You're both right. We should use our imaginations a lot more in school.